I've been asked by several students on the undergraduate course here at Point Blank whether it's possible to record in Logic 10's new MIDI effects to a new track. We used to use the environment in Logic 9 to record the arpeggiator so the notes can be easily edited, but the environment is quite unstable in the latest version of Logic. This technique involves using the external instrument plugin and routing the MIDI out of Logic via the IAC driver and then recording the result onto a new track. So let's take a look at how we can go about this, and if anyone knows of a simpler way to achieve this, that'd be great if you could let us know. So if we load in the arpeggiator, and I play a couple of notes, we can drag that arpeggiated pattern and drop it into the arrange page, and that will just show we've got two notes there, and then we could obviously loop that. Problem is, if I want to start playing the arpeggiator, let me just get rid of those notes. And to create a vary pattern, to try and create some form of riff, then I'm going to need to do that multiple times. So what I want to do is to actually record that pattern onto a new MIDI track. So let me just record in something along those lines. And then let's quantize that. Okay, then that could be the repeat pattern there. Something along those lines. And let's just tighten that up there. So we've now got a four bar pattern. But the problem is I can only see the notes are held down. I can't see the arpeggiated notes and I can't edit them. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to set up the IAC driver and then route the arpeggiated notes out of Logic and then record them onto a new track. So let's set up the IAC driver and we do this by going to the audio MIDI setup. We can find this from applications, utilities, audio MIDI setup and then go to window and show MIDI window if it's not already displayed. And this will show you whatever MIDI interfaces or keyboards you have connected. And I'm going to click on IAC driver, show info, and then turn it on by clicking in this box, device is online. I can then quit out of audio MIDI setup, come back to logic, and now I'm going to duplicate this track. So select the track, command D, to duplicate and then go back to the original track here and switch where it says ES2 and I'm going to choose external instrument and it doesn't matter whether it's mono or stereo. Now what we might find is we're going to have to reboot logic because the IAC driver doesn't come up automatically. So let's just command S to save, quit and then let's reopen logic. And now when we click on MIDI destination, here is the IAC driver bus one. So that's going to route the arpeggiated notes out of the IAC driver bus one. And that's automatically connected to the input of Logic. So I can just select this new track, turn the arpeggiator off because the arpeggiator is on track one. And then we're ready to record. So just hit button R. And there we can see the notes being recorded in. It's all sounding up the octave at the moment. Ah, oh, we've got a plus 12 transpose setting here. That's the reason it's playing up the octave. Must have faulted to that. So what we need to do is to first come back to this track one and turn off the external instrument. Let's just drop that back down. There we go. And we can see here are the arpeggiated notes. What we should also do, just check the timing of it. So we can go to the event list from the window menu or command seven. And the timing of it, it's very, very slightly off. Now you'll find this varies. Okay, so probably the easiest way is just to quantize it. Let's just go straight 16th notes. And also you might find the length of them 
changes slightly as well. Uh, but otherwise, all is good. So now what we can do is play around with these. We can edit certain notes. So that is how to record in any of the MIDI effects within Logic 10 to a new track so you can actually see the notes. Once you've set up the IAC driver bus then you don't need to reset it, it will just stay online till you actually disable it. At Point Blank Online, you've got two methods of interaction with your tutor. Firstly, you've got the weekly online masterclass, which is in real time. And then also we've got feedback on your assignments, and that's known as DVR. So the online masterclass is a one hour session you get with your tutor every week. You can ask questions about the lesson content and get instant feedback and also demonstrations on the fly from their computer desktop with our streaming technology. DVR stands for Direct Video Response and the concept is really simple. You upload your Ableton Logic or Cubase project file to your tutor, he downloads it and then pushes record on the screen capturing software and evaluates your work, so basically giving you one-to-one -one feedback. You see all of the mouse movements and any parameter changes made by your tutor. It's kind of like sitting in the studio over their shoulder watching what they're doing whilst they work. We've found the DVR process has truly revolutionized the way that we teach online and the results speak for themselves. Book your place on the course now by visiting pointblankonline.net.